Sorry for being outwitted for such a long time, but my mom is currently meeting. And she already aced her interview, so she'll be working again in two weeks. So there ain't nothing to worry about with that. I just haven't had a lot of time to commentate because I don't have enough time to be alone to do the commentary stuff. But anyway, what I wanted to say in this video is that, and you can apply this politically, because I see this a lot in the alt-right, especially the white nationalist segment of the alt-right, but you can also apply this personally. And that's that winning isn't, in and of itself, the ultimate goal. Before you get into a competitive environment, the goal should be to achieve whatever it is as a goal that inspire you to get into a competitive environment. There are obvious exceptions in the life of a typical adult. For example, if you've gone the careerist path, then winning for the sake of winning is absolutely a decent goal. Athletes, they have to win all the time. That's the whole point of their career, winning. If you're in a corporate environment, you got to finish your projects and get those profits for your yearly quarters, all four of them, every year for your entire career. But for something like the goal of an alt-writer or a rightist in general, Winning, getting political power, should not be the end goal. I mean, it's a nice means of achieving that, depending on the context, but if that's just it right there, then we're going to get another repeat of Donald Trump. Like... We can see now how cringy Trump supporters have become once the alt-rightists have pulled out from it. All that Kekasan stuff, it looks mad corny now. And even around the time when we're still in it, it was mad corny. But it's gotten worse. And I see a lot, especially with the white nationalists, that they always talk about or no infighting. Don't punch right. We should be in this together. Because we need to win this. And I don't want to see us trolling our, our brothers. Which, I understand not wanting a divisive environment. Divisive environments can be toxic environments. But at the same time, some of this infighting exists for a reason in these political circles. Because even though we all have the alt-right label, our end goals are wildly different. For example, my end goal is not a just a white landia. I want full emancipation from cultural jewelry. That's what I want. It used to be a lot more simple when I was a traditionalist. I just wanted a high trust society. But my goal is full emancipation. And there are a lot of confused alt rightists who fall into Semitic traps or even take on full on Zionistic positions, careerist positions because they don't have these end goals in mind. And they oftentimes ridicule people with these end goals in mind because they don't want to deal with the type of clashing and disagreement and personal statements that come with these conflicts and this kind of infighting. But not all infighting is bad. And some of it has productive means, and I've been on different sides of this infighting over the years before I've taken my ultimate position. And the ethos I'm talking about right now doesn't just apply to politics, it also applies to your personal life. 
if you have a goal in life and you get into a competitive environment and you have to win to achieve that goal, ultimately you should achieve the goal and not just win. In fact, there may be situations where even losing may benefit you more if it reminds you of that original goal that you had. If your original goal is to, let's say, get out of debt, so you go into a competition with the goal of erasing that debt by getting some prize money or some shit, and it turns out there's like a fine print in the contract, where depending on how you win that contest, you might end up in even more debt because you owe the company or the guys who made the contest. If you win that, and you end up in more debt than before, then winning that competition should not be your goal. And I just, that is a perfect way of describing what my goals are, erasing it. Because debt is not just a financial thing. Getting out of debt means a form of emancipation, which is again what I'm looking for so this has been my rant and I'm sure it's gonna sound really weird out of context and I don't got enough context to fully make this but if you can take some of the things I've said and just apply that look at people who don't apply it People so obsessed with winning, so obsessed with solidarity, who don't even have the same end goals in mind as you. If you can just look at what that might entail, I think I've made my point. This has been your boy, Mr. Marcus7, and suck my dick.